So we just finished an important G7 call uh, where we talked about how important it is to get uh, people out of Afghanistan as quickly and as safely as possible. Uh, I emphasize that Canada is ready to stay beyond the 31st deadline uh, if it's at all possible because we want to save as many people as possible and Canadians uh, are, uh, are ready to, to work to try and do that. Um, we also emphasized how important it was to pass the message to the Taliban that not only should they be letting uh, people have access to the airport in the coming days, uh, they need to make sure that in the coming uh, weeks, even beyond the deadline, people are able to leave Afghanistan. Uh, and finally, I talked about the fact that already in Canada, uh, Canadians are welcoming uh, Afghan families uh, into their homes, into their communities, uh, because we know uh, we can do more to give a uh, better life to people uh, as they flee uh, the violence and danger there. Uh, we have uh, uh, welcomed over 2,000 people back to Canada over these past number of weeks. We're going to continue to work every single day to get as many people out alongside our allies. The commitment uh, by uh, the, our, uh, our fellow G7 nations is clear. We're all going to work together to save as many people as possible. But our commitment to Afghanistan doesn't end uh, when this current phase and this current deadline comes. We will continue uh, to put pressure on the Taliban to allow people to leave the country in safety. We will continue uh, to ensure that we're doing everything we can uh, to get them to respect uh, uh, human rights and give opportunities to all Afghans. Right now we're working with all of our allies on getting as many people out as possible. Uh, the conversation, as it always is around the G7 table, was frank and direct. And uh, We very clearly said that we uh, want to do as much as we possibly can. Everyone agrees the situation is extremely difficult with the positioning of the Taliban, uh, with uh, all the work we have to do to keep people safe even as uh, we get uh, uh, Afghans out. Uh, we will continue to do all the work we need to do. Uh, we know very clearly that the Taliban wants uh, to be recognized as a government. They want to uh, be part of the global community. They have insisted that they are different than when they were 20 years ago. That remains to be seen. We are highly skeptical. The Taliban remain on Canada's uh, list of terrorist entities. Uh, but certainly the international community has uh, a few very clear expectations and demands of the Taliban if they want uh, to uh, be be even engaged with constructively and positively, uh, whether it's financially, whether it's in terms of food security, whether it's plenty of things that are needed uh, in order to set up a, a, a functional uh, society uh, that they have just taken by violence. Uh, we know that access uh, to the airport now and access for people to be able to leave the country in the coming weeks is going to be extraordinarily important.